Um, so for chapter eight and chapter nine, scheduling consideration and transportation, um, where is your school in compliance with these administrative tasks? So I'm gonna use uh, my son's freshman baseball team for an example. Um, so I think they were in compliance with the, their um, scheduling. So they would reevaluate their schedule, I think every two years and um, adjust who the teams are playing to kind of keep things more fair and make sure um, the strong teams are playing other strong teams and um, that it's, it's more even between the, the teams. Um, I also think that they were in compliance with scheduling um, the freshmen played at the middle school field, so they were kind of the lowest in seniority, so they would play at a different field. And also it didn't conflict um, with any of the softball players or any other facilities because softball uses a different field anyway. And um, they mostly play, yeah, teams that are in their conference. Um, where is your school out of compliance with these administrative tasks? I would say in transportation. So the freshman team did not have a bus or a van, so parents were in charge of taking kids um, to and from games and practices. And um, I don't think we ever had our insurance on file with the school, which that's probably something that is out of compliance. We just kind of did it on our own. Um, also, Let's see, the other thing, well this I would say was just um, a point that I liked was the Schedule Star app. So I think that using the team app to communicate about transportation and scheduling was just a really useful tool. tool. Thank you.